Hi Beethoven Violins, how's it going? It was great to see a lot of you guys over FaceTime this past week. Um, it was great to catch up and to explain about some things that are happening with Elm for the rest of the school year. So if you have gotten a message from me or if your parents have gotten a message from me and you have not responded, please respond. Okay. Um, this video is going to be about minuet number two. So I hope you all have your music still. <laughs> if you don't, it's okay. We'll figure out how to get it to you. Um, you can also, if, if you don't have the music, you should especially be following along very, very closely because you can learn a lot of this even by ear. Um, so the, this video is the first four lines of minuet number two. You need to do a G major scale warm up. So go back to the video if you need a refresher um, and be prepared for to, be, to play in G major. So do your G major warm up. Okay, great. Now that we're all warmed up, um, I'm going to go through this really quickly because um, at different points throughout the year, we would dive back into minuet number two. I know we never ended up finishing the, the whole thing, but we had different months throughout the year that we would really go over the first four lines especially, so this will this should sound very familiar to you guys. Okay, very beginning, first measure. We always would start with an open string warm-up because there's a lot of string crossings. So, um, the strings that we're going to use, D, A, A, E, A, E. Here we go. Remember that? Again, um, D, A, A, E, A, E. We are not going to go past the middle. This is little bows, okay, for the eighth notes. Okay, um, pause the video, go do that six times. Okay, let's add measure two. Let's just add the open strings because uh, this is a huge string crossing right here. A fast big bow. For a beat one, stop your bow, cross, up, up. Again, measure two. So if we were just doing the strings that we're gonna play on as a warm up for our bow, for the first two measures, this is what it'll sound like together. And we really want that um, big fast bow to have to feel heavy. Okay, um, watch one more time, and then you're gonna do it. A nice clean string crossing from E to D string. So stop your bow, and then cross. Okay, pause the video. Go do that exercise five times. Okay, and we're back. Let's add the pitches, the fingers that we're gonna use. Okay. G, B, D, G, A, F sharp, okay? Um, we wanna do this with walking fingers. Walking fingers is such a big thing we've been working on this year. Small bows only um, from the frog to the middle, okay? Don't go past the middle. Let's first do it just double. Let's double and play two of every note, um, just to help bring our fingers up to date. Let's try that one more time so like my G can be in tune. Ready? What? Ready? Again. Okay, pause the video, go do it five times. Okay, and we're back. Let's tackle um, measure two with the pitches. Full bow G. Stop your bow. Go to D string. So high, one high G, two middle range Gs. Okay. Um, let's put it together now. Measure one and measure two together as it's written. Okay. So that's the whole first line and the whole third line, right? 
Okay, um, if you need some extra time just going over this, pause the video right now and pinpoint what your problem is. If maybe you need faster bow speed on the second measure on beat one, fast, then up, up. Pause the video and, um, uh, if you're not ready to put together yet and figure out what these details are that you need to work on. If you're ready to go on, here we go, first line. Let me count us off. One, two, and three, and. Okay. Uh, pause the video. Make sure you can play this pretty well. We're back. Now we're at measure five. Big, big, little, big, big, little. Okay, those measures, pretty simple, yeah? Um, here we go. Uh, make sure you have full bow, full bow on the quarter notes. The eighth notes, just small down at the frog. We are um, now uh, going to go to measure seven. This is a very specific uh, measure because it's going to prepare us for measure eight, where we have that dotted half note. That's what pre-orc is learning right now with French folk song. So the dotted half note, we always would struggle with this part during the school year of making sure that we could be start the dotted half note in the right part of our bow, which is at the very, very tip. Okay, so um, measure seven, full bow on that first note on the C. That will stay there at the tip. One and two and three and making sure you have enough bow by making sure it's a really slow bow. Watch again. Full. Make sure that C natural, super fast bow all the way to the tip, okay? Here is all of line two. Hop. Okay, pause the video, practice this line. Um, for I, I'm gonna set a time limit actually. Practice this line for five to seven minutes. Okay, and we're back and we're back at the beginning with measure nine, right? Um, so I'm gonna skip uh, to measure 11, okay? Watch how I finish this. Swing, okay? Measure 12, you need to swing to set up the fourth finger in measure 13, okay? Write it in your music if you need over the, the up bow G's. Swing so that you can set up measure 13. Um, here we go, measure 13. Full upper half, then full lower half. So the quarter notes, full bows bows on the quarter notes and um, so again measure 13 full little little all those will be upper half then measure 14 full little little okay um, here we go um, actually let's do that once I was gonna go straight to left with the R notes but let's just do that on open A just the rhythm making sure we're in the right part of the bow Look at your bow. Um, did you get all the way to the top part on the first on the first bow? Pause the video. Go do that six times. Okay, ready. Let's put in the, the fingers. It's just little scales down. E down to A, uh, B. A, oh my gosh, sorry. 
E down to A, D down to G. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Ready to move on to measure 15. Who can remember what this is called? These three eighth notes that have the tiny little three underneath them that's in like a fancy writing. Who can remember that? Yes, triplet. Good job if you already knew. Um, so a triplet is where instead of having um, a beat be split into two equal eighth notes, 50% and 50%, you're gonna split one beat into thirds, so you get 33%. I feel like Kelvin would say, no, it's 33.3%. Okay, so um, the way that you would count triplets is you find a, a three-syllable word, like strawberry, blueberry, most berries, um, <laughs> seem to work, or Davidson, or Abraham. Okay, and that's how you would count it. So it would be triple it, and then we're gonna go to D string, up and up and slow bow, please. Okay, uh, so do it just once uh, with these open strings. for either measure 17 or when we go back to the beginning if we're repeating it too. Okay, let's plug in the notes. Circle. Okay, so um, that is it. That's the refresher um, course for the first four uh, lines of minute number two. Um, when I see all of you guys again for your FaceTime or Zoom lessons, this is what we're going to be tackling. And uh, the next video is going to be on the second half of video at number two. Okay, so make sure to check those out. Um, can't wait to hear from you guys soon. Bye.